Hi, I'm Susan with Dark Katiki, and this is my son, Sebastian. And we are going to make for you a white chocolate lingonberry layered cake. And today we're going to do the first part of our cake. Um, we're going to do this in segments and we'll put it all together so it's going to be um, one video for you. But uh, this is the first part of the cake where we are making uh, the layered part of the cake, the base of the cake. And this recipe that we use is um, a five egg cake recipe, which we have gotten from the blog Kinuski Kissa. And uh, we'll show you now how we're going to make the cake, what are the essential ingredients. So please, Sebi. So I'm going to go to the other side of the camera and Sebastian's going to tell you about how we make our cake. So what do you put first? So first we're going to put five eggs into the first glass. We have three same size cups. This is a really easy, easy really, really easy recipe to use to make cakes. Um, we have been using this to make all of our layered cakes and basically in one cup you put whatever amount of eggs you plan to make for your cake. So uh, for some cakes you may only use three or four eggs if you want to have a really small or just a one layer. And if you're going to have um, many layers, uh, you might even have eight, nine, ten eggs. And the idea is that you take uh, three equal glasses or equal bowls, and on, on those, um, in those glasses or bowls, you put equal amount of eggs to the next is he's going to put sugar. The sugar has to be the same amount in volume as what he has in eggs. And then in the third cup is going to be two-thirds of normal flour and one-third of potato flour and then two teaspoons of baking powder. And once we have that all measured out, the first thing that we're going to do is to put it into the mixer, the eggs, and the sugar. And we are going to mix them up until they are really in a kind of a white froth looking. And uh, this takes about probably 10 minutes on a, quite a high speed with the mixer. We're not going to do every segment of this um, mixing the cake and baking the cake because it would take quite a long time. And uh, I think that most of you probably know how to bake a cake. So what we really want to get into layer, later is more about our layers for the cake and decorating our cake. We have some really nice ideas about the decorating. And we're back and we have beat our eggs in sugar for about 10 minutes. And that's how it looks. Why don't you start to sift the flour? We need to sift our flour before we can put it into the mixture. So we've sifted it really well into another container. Looks good. I'll put it in there yeah. and you can keep sifting. Put that down. You can gradually scoop the flour into here, and we're just going to lightly fold it in to the batter. More. We're making a tall cake, and that's why I have a small pan that's very tall. I'm going to cut it into three layers.
So now the cake has been in the fridge overnight, and here it is. We've had a few steps in between, which you saw from the pictures. We filled the cake, and um, we put it in the fridge overnight. Uh, then we took it out, and we put a thin layer of frosting, a very thin layer of the frosting on the cake, and we put it back in the fridge. Um, we put it back in the fridge actually for about a half an hour, but you can put it uh, in the fridge for 10 minutes, that's enough. And um, now we're going to get to the fun part of our video, which is decorating the cake. But before we do that, I want to tell you about um, these beautiful edible flowers that I have here. So I have gotten these edible flowers from Mimi's and they are all flowers which you can eat safely. Uh, edible flowers are something that you can't buy from a flower shop. Uh, most flower shops will not sell um, flowers to, to put in your food and on your cakes and, and, and so forth uh, because a lot of uh, flowers are made or grown with um, different kinds of pesticides and so forth. So they're not safe to eat. Um, there are several flowers that you can grow yourself and um, there's also flowers which you can, you can buy from these kinds of gardeners that are growing flowers just for that purpose. And I have uh, a few times used flowers from Mimi's, hopefully I'm saying that correct, but this Mimi's Kotipelan Puutarha and that is where I have gotten these flowers for this cake. And I found that there are, they're really beautiful. Um, they're actually very tasty, uh, but not too tasty for the cake. And uh, they, they save really well. Uh, these come by mail. Uh, it just takes a, a day or two to come by mail. And then I put them in uh, the part of my fridge that doesn't have, um, it's not the, not the coldest part of the fridge. And then they, they save very well there. Also, another thing that I want to tell you before we start decorating our cake is what to do when you have extra, extra mousse, whipped cream, white chocolate, and so forth. Uh, what you should do with that, because usually when I bake a cake, I always want to make sure that I have enough of everything, and I find that I make too much mousse, um, the chocolate that I buy, baking, baking white chocolate for example, or baking dark chocolate when I buy it, um, I buy it in 200, 250 gram packages and a lot of times you might have 50 grams left um, and, and everything else that you're using, you have a little bit of this and a little bit of that and of course we don't want to throw any of those delicious things away. So what do we do with that? Usually uh, we make small desserts, cupcakes. In this case, I made this really nice mousse, which actually two of them were eaten last night by our family members, and I have only this one left to show you. But um, that's what I usually do with the leftovers. So we have, a lot of times, we have a little tasting before our actual cake. And uh, now I'm gonna get to the frosting step. So I told you already that I have frosted this with a very, very light, light layer of our frosting. And now I'm going to get to the next part where we actually decorate the cake. And there's many ways that you can do this, but I decided that I want this cake to be today just this very classic, kind of sophisticated looking, simple frosted cake. I want this to be the kind of cake that we could eat at Christmas time, for example. And it's beautiful red flowers would make us feel like the holidays, but why not have flowers also in the winter time? Flowers aren't just for summer. So that's why I decided that I want to do a cake with flowers on top. Our family likes frosting, so that's why I'm putting a lot of frosting on the cake. 
You see a lot of cakes, um, what they would call bare frost cakes, where they leave it, especially the edges, just like that, that they don't have a lot of frosting on the cake. But our family likes the frosting, so that's why I'm putting a lot of frosting on the cake. And now that I have it completely frosted, I'm going to even it out with this great tool that I have. Usually when you do this, some of the frosting you can put aside because of course even if we like a lot of frosting, perhaps I put too much. This will get it really even all around the cake without taking off from the top of the cake. You can see if I would still go around and around the cake, I would get that kind of a bare, frosting look, what you see in many bakery cakes. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I feel like a, a painter, which is probably one of the reasons why I really like to make cakes, because I have done a lot of painting, a lot of artwork, and I feel like making cakes is like a form of art. I think that our cake is now pretty perfect. Uh, the frosting and so forth. So cleaning up my area a bit and I'm going to show you this. If you would like, you can clean out around the bottom the area of the cake. I just take a paper towel, for example, and I just go around the edges and clean. And now, time for the really fun part. So, I have many different kinds of flowers here from Mimi's. But now I'm going to use the ones that I think are the most Christmassy for this cake. And um, then uh, we have another cake, actually, which Sebi and I will decorate later for you. And we're just going to put a few segments of that. Um, and we're going to, that one has some blueberries inside. So then we're going to use some flowers that have a little bit more of the bluish hues to them. But for this one, I'm going to. Put a few of these. You can see it's already looking really beautiful. Just to have a few of these flowers on. You don't even really need a lot of flowers. You can buy these flowers in, um, in packages of 10, 20 flowers. And really, if we wanted to be really, really simple, that would almost be enough. But I want to have all kinds of beautiful flowers on this cake, all kinds of different ones. Um, I don't just throw them on, I hand place them. In the end, it will probably look like they were just put onto the cake because I'm going to have so many flowers here on the cake. But I do hand place them so that the prettiest part of the flowers are facing up. Now I have placed all my flowers on the cake and I think it came out exactly how I wanted it. Um, you can see it from the sides of the cake and you can see from the top of the cake. Uh, I have actually hand placed all the flowers uh, carefully on the cake because I wanted them to be the prettiest side up on the cake. Um, it looks very natural and uh, it looks like the, the cakes were just placed there quite um, randomly, and that's how I wanted it to look. But they have the prettiest sides up, so that's why I took my time and placed them carefully on the cake. So this is my version of the cake. I'm going to decorate it a little bit differently than Mama's. I'm going to do these little swirls on the top and I'm going to try one here to try if there's any air in the thing.
Okay, let's go. Shall we? Done with that. Now we're gonna put the flowers. Can we wait, Sabi, to try your cake? Yeah, it's turning out pretty good. Who's going to eat all these cakes that we made? It's a very good question. Okay, so, that's it. I'm, I'm going to zoom in on it. Ooh, I zoomed in a little bit too much. Wow, that's really pretty.